Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, um, the 26th. <laughs> uh, and this is episode number, I think, 140? I have that written down. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I got quite a few uh, finished objects to share with you guys today. And I honestly can't remember... I don't think I've shared them all on uh, No Catchy Name episode. I shared some of them on uh, What's Working on Wednesday and one of them on a holiday national holiday video <laughs> and I actually have two finished objects that I'm not going to show you yet one is for my hashtag um, crochet calendar fun uh, collab that I'm doing with Dina and some other people that'll be coming out on Sunday I got that video coming out on Sunday <laughs> and uh, the other one is a test emigurumi pattern that I did and I'm not going to share it until the designer releases her pattern and then I can um share it <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and hop in here i got a bag a plastic bag here what was in this bag oh yeah we got jesse a uh, a new comforter and it's the comforter bag because i love those bags <laughs> but anyways um this was on a national holiday i feel like i've showed this but it's on my list so i don't know <laughs> if you've already seen this just ignore it but i made this pattern out of a book that i was gifted i think it's called um kawaii crochet and i'll link it below the book it's on amazon and so um, it was a bowl of cereal i still haven't put his face on there his smile or her smile whatever it is and i don't know where the spoon is took me a while to find cereal because jess has been playing with it but um so i made this a couple weeks ago for um national cereal day <laughs> and i can't remember if i showed it in a no catch name episode i may have already done that i don't know but it was on my list so i don't know <laughs> but it's super cute really tedious because all these little cereals pieces are uh, individually made and sewed on but it's a really easy pattern and I love that book and it does have a spoon I just don't know where it's at it's in Jesse's room somewhere there's that <laughs> uh, the next one I know these were on a watch you work on Wednesday also uh, yeah as well and these are two really cute little mice and this is a free pattern by olive at stringydingding.com and um they're called no so mouse so i made this one this is this with worst weight yarn and i think an f hook so cute <laughs> and it's all no so you make all of it as you go so the little ears are crocheted on they're not even separate you just do it in the round and then you finish the little body and the little tail is at the end it's fuzzy <laughs> so this is uh following her pattern exactly and then the second one i held two strands together there's jesse he's in his underwear <laughs> at the, okay. I got blocking with my head <laughs> but this one was two strands held together and I think I used a H hook for him but they're exactly the same it's just one's bigger than the other and they're adorable I do plan on making more of these little moths eventually I just haven't gotten around to it I think this is all of the charm uh, I can't remember what the color is called but uh, it's a really pretty gray and they got little safety eyes what are you doing? Okay. They're really cute. Little mice. They're real fuzzy because Jesse's been playing with them. He played with these a lot. He probably won't those back now that I've, because I've had them kind of hidden. <laughs> so I could share them with you guys. I feel like I've showed all this stuff before, and it's because I showed it in other videos. Yeah, and this is a watch you're working on Wednesday, also. This wasn't this last Wednesday, it was the one before that. Has it really been that long since I made a video? A no catch name video? I don't know. I'm confused. I think my list is outdated. <laughs> but this is also a Emma Grammy that I showed on Watch Working on Wednesday two Wednesdays ago. <laughs> and it is called the Friendly Crochet Troll. Uh, I did show this in that video and it was done the way it is now. And uh, I didn't add anything to it yet. I'm planning on adding like a floral, flower crown or something like that to the top of its head. And maybe something some kind of cloth <laughs> clothing uh for its body but i don't know i haven't really thought about it since then it's just been sitting in my uh, room with my yarn and just hanging out in there so yeah i love this pattern it's super cute like i said in that video uh the nose doesn't come out as big as it's pictured because it's pictured as huge <laughs> and that's one thing that attracted me to it was it's big old nose but it's still really cute and you can easily just alter it to make it bigger it's a really cute pattern. I love it. And it was really quick. I made it super quick. 
the uh, the arms are crocheted on as you go. You make them separately, but then you crochet them on, and then the the feet, you know, up. All that's one piece. <laughs> so then the only things you really gotta sew on is the nose, the eyebrows, and the ears. And you don't even have to do the eyebrows if you didn't want to. But I think they add character. So yeah, I do want to add some more stuff to this. And it does have a little like a uh, puff stitch thumbs. I, think, I always think it's cute when uh, designers add stuff like that in there. But it's adorable. And I actually have another uh, actual. Let me grab it. I'm wearing sweatpants, so. Don't judge do me. <laughs> I actually got this one. He's super heavy. It's like concrete. <laughs> I got this at the thrift store forever ago. And it has a uh, thing on the bottom of it. And they were actually made and sold um, from a church, like a church. Well, that's what the sticker says. I don't know how accurate that is. <laughs> it has an old sticker down here where it was like $13, but when I bought it, it was like a couple bucks. And um, it says, it's French, <laughs> Le Beau. I don't know how you pronounce that right. But it says, Gothic cathedrals were liberally, liberally I can't even say it, covered with gargoyles to help ward off evil spirits. Our Le Mew comes from, comes to us from outside the Abbey of Saint Denis, France, and it's got some more writing, but it's covered up with sticker residue. I think it says a cir circa 1100. Mama. What? I got me a uh, That's really cool. Boy, I love this. And I got a cool. So I love this and I keep it I keep it in the house because I'm afraid to put it outside right now when we live in an apartment because I'm afraid it's going to get stolen. But when we get a house, I'll probably put it on our front porch because it's to ward off evil spirits. And it's really cute and it's you know, it's like actual rock. And uh, I don't know. I just love it. But that's one reason why I, when I saw this, I wanted to make it because it reminded me of Le Boo. Le Boo. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but yeah, twins. Oh, it's super heavy. But yeah, it just been living in the house. We got it years ago. And I love it. Okay, so that's that. That is a free pattern, too, by the way. On um, that person's can't go on a bicycle um, website. It'll be linked below. All right, my next two finished objects are my squares for D and E of my um, hashtag moving stitch blanket. So my D one, I watched Dumbo, the old cartoon from I think it was 41, 1941. So I made the black feather that he uh, gets from the crow and is what kind of motivates him to fly. <laughs> and uh, you can't see it, but it's got texture. And the feather pattern is called ridged feathers and it's a free pattern also in Billings Blow. And the square that I use for all my squares for that blanket is called the um, Simple Says It Best Square. And it's a free PDF download from Ravelry. So yeah, so there's mine. It's just Red Heart Super they were uh, black, and I think this is Delft Blue. And then my E movie was Ever After, and I made this uh, representing the necklace at the end of the movie. And uh, the same square pattern as the other one, but this whole uh, necklace thing I made myself. It's just like a, a gr solid granny square and like a flower <laughs> and then just circles for these little things and same square pattern. And it's red heart, uh, white, cherry red, and this is a scrap ball of, um, I love this yarn, sun gold. That's what I made my cardigan out of, it's hanging over there. So those are two of my squares. The blue one is significantly larger than the other one, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna worry about it when I put them together. <laughs> and then I won't even worry about it, I'm just gonna put them together if it's a little lumpy, bumpy, I don't care. That's all my finished objects. <laughs> Quite a few of them, and actually there's two more that I can't show you is there my groomy that I made and there's a prop my calendar project. My pea plant is getting huge. We gotta replant those soon. <laughs> but um yeah so I don't have any active whips. I did start a shrug and it was featured on my what you're working on Wednesday this past Wednesday but uh, I just kept feeling like it was way too large <laughs> and so I just ripped it out and I just started another one. But I wasn't liking its pattern, so I ripped it out too. So <laughs> I did start two shrugs, but I ripped them both out. So uh, I do still want to make a shrug, but I have to find a pattern that I like enough to set and do it a lot. <laughs> so uh, yeah, 
I guess that's everything because I showed my recent acquisitions in a video yesterday a happy mail video I haven't bought anything <laughs> that I can think of I don't think so maybe it's mice the only other thing is tomorrow Saturday uh, the 27th I will be putting some drawstring bags in my Etsy shop I showed them recent uh, yesterday I think <laughs> um, and I got them right here I gotta take pictures of them still. I got the drawstrings in them, <laughs> but uh, roughly, in case you didn't watch yesterday's video, there's gonna be some galaxy ones, feathers, stars, mermaids, plants, Ooh. shells, horses, farm print, puppy dogs, uh, chickens and roosters, really cute jungle print, a tribal print, and this really cool like atlas print there's gonna be two of each of these in the shop tomorrow Ooh. i'm laying them over here because i gotta take pictures of them tomorrow when it's sunny because it's already it's almost seven o'clock and it, we're losing sunlight <laughs> so um that's why i'm filming in here because the room i normally film in is like really dark because the sun isn't shooting through that window <laughs> anyways it's like a long um thing yeah you want to see my pea plants let me shut my laptop my pea plants are getting big. Oh, look at them. There's two of them. Actually, this there's two only only two little peas is what I use to um, propagate these, and this one has two shoots coming out of it. So I think that's cool. They've gotten huge. These are supposed to be bush peas, but they've got these little things like vining peas do. So I'm thinking these are vines <laughs> because um, that's what these are. These little things are what. You know grab onto things to stretch it out and let it grow <laughs> if that makes any sense and then right here is some basil plants growing they're all in the window i started some of them too early Let's get this over here. these <laughs> can you see it good these are cucumber plants uh these ones are bell peppers there's four two little ones and two bigger ones and let's see here. These two are jalapenos, and these two are habaneros. They're leaning because I, I gotta rotate them today. They're gonna face this way. I'm super proud of my cucumbers because every year I try to grow cucumbers from seeds. They get super leggy and don't ever get their second leaves. And these ones have already got their second leaves growing. So I'm excited. Their their roots are still looking good. This is a cupcake, a little mini cupcake. Um container <laughs> so uh i grew my peas in here and my green beans which i'm about to show you too um but i've already had to move them because they grew super fast because peas and green beans are like super easy to grow i put these back and i'll grab the beans to show you these beans need to be replanted like now we'll probably do it this weekend oh look at them they're huge <laughs> these are uh green beans got three of them going they're humongous. I'm so proud of these. I know beans are like the easiest thing in the world to grow, but you know, it's okay. I'm still excited. <laughs> I can't wait to eat these because fresh green beans are the best thing in the world. I just like to pick them and eat them off the uh, plant. And we don't use any um, chemicals on our plants when we grow them on our porch. We just grow them organically, I guess. <laughs> um, so we can just grab them and eat them. You know, I do kind of rinse them off, but, you know, sometimes we just grab them and eat them. <laughs> uh, what else are we going to grow? My houseplants are getting kind of large. You, my, I got an ivy back there. It's gotten bigger. <laughs> and um, this thing hasn't really done that good. I got my snake plant. It's doing pretty good. This thing's doing really good. It's gotten way taller. Because when we bought it, it was like this tall. So all this is new. <laughs> and uh, Devin actually picked this plant out. What is this called? Gold dust is like the layman name. It's got a scientific name that I can't pronounce, but it's beautiful. Put it back on its little tree. Ugh. This thing hasn't really grown much at all. I don't know how good it's doing. It's still alive. It just doesn't seem like it's growing. It might be a slow grower though. It's called a Frankie. The layman name. <laughs> my peas and basil. And then I do have a snake plant. Oh, it's in a big pot because it's big. My snake plant doing pretty good oh, and I'll grab the ivy <laughs> the 
this ivy's grown a lot when we first got it it was just like right here so this is shot out this is shot out and there's two in the back doing their things looking really pretty And then the last plant I have is a pothos, but it's in the living room and it's grown a lot. I'm super excited. Those are one of my favorite plants. My granny had a ginormous one when I was growing up and it was just, it was in a big hanging um, thing that she kept in her window and it was just like waterfalled, <laughs> cascaded um, down to the floor. And we would all, we used to get clippings from it. And I guess over the years ours had died, like my, that my mom had. But I remember my cousin had one and propagated it from her plant. and. That's kind of what I want to do with mine. I want to be able to give people clippings of it to root and um, have their own pothos from, like, the mom pothos. <laughs> That's what I want to do. It's it's in the living room, though, and Jesse's in there in his underwears, so I don't want to show that. But, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with these peas. Because I have my vining cucumbers. I deal with them every year on the porch, and I just kind of zigzag them through our baby gate that's out there. Um, if you've seen some of my past vlogs, you've probably seen it. But I'm not going to be able to do that with cucumbers and peas because they'll get all mixed up together. So I guess I'll just have to keep growing these and see what happens. And I might have to give these to my in-laws because I usually do gardens. Um, the package said they were bush peas though. and they're, But they're vining. Because <laughs> they wouldn't have these little tentacle thingies <laughs> if they were bush peas. I don't know. They're, it's a nice plant. It's growing good. I'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll do something with it. Maybe I could. Do they need to be pollinated? Might be able to grow them inside. Maybe I can figure. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah. That was the sidetrack. I showed you all my plants. But I love growing stuff. Me and Devin do um, every year. I'm pretty sure every year that we've lived here we've grown something. I want to get some strawberry plants when it gets a little bit closer to summer. And I'll probably go ahead and buy them already pre like grown. Because <laughs> it's easier. Um, yeah, we got to get some dirt. We got some dirts in the trunk of the car and some, uh, get our buckets out there. We're going to get them green beans planted in buckets and then we're just going to have to live in here until May. We can put them out in May. Um, yeah, I'm excited about our green beans. They're doing pretty good. I got to plant some more green beans soon so that we have them harvestable at different times throughout the summer. That seems like it'll work. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all my finished objects in the story of my ripped out whips and then all my plants in case you wanted to see them. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I like growing stuff here. It makes me feel better about not having a yard. <laughs> but one of these days we'll have a yard with a big giant garden, hopefully. But uh, not anytime soon, I guess. Jesse's peeking his head in here, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.